Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between the strikers and the stars and it's the last game before New Year's Eve going to be happening at the Adelaide Oval and to ensure that New Year's Eve gets a little bit better for you, we have ensured that there are some cracking prizes on offer and Nikhil bhai will tell you more about them and how you can actually get to them. Yes, absolutely. Lots of uh, good things, of course, lined up in that sense. Coffee leaderboards are multiple combinations. Both are such a game that you love so much. If I go more than that, then it will turn into something else. But uh, yes, uh, end the year well. Back your visualization, that is all that I'll say. And uh, yes, let's discuss a lot more of it in the coming days. Absolutely. 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 Absolutely.
and Marcus Toynis, we have not taken Bao Webster. Two reasons. He didn't bowl in the last game. And with Toynis' presence, and especially if NCN continues to play, it will be unlikely that he'll turn his arm over for more than over or two. And in the batting, he's going to come up against Rashid Khan. So, it's not going to be easy pickings anywhere. So, hence we have tried to back the experience in that regard. And in the bowling, we have gone Henry Thornton, Luke Wood, Adam Zampa, Rashid Khan, Trent Bolt, all your top choices. The only choice that's missing is Peter Siddle. And we'd like to see the setup of how Adelaide go. Because we have seen at times Colin bowls just one over. And then Matt Short is turning over three. So, if you feel like that's going to happen one more time. And Colin is bowling just one over. And if you feel he's not too productive with a bat, then maybe you can take Peter if he's bowling first. So, that would be like a toss-based and visualization-based call for you to take. NCN has a lower grade hamstring first, uh, something around the first level. So, not too sure if he'll feature in this one or not. Again, Bao Webster's inclusion in our team yes. will depend totally on NCN's presence or absence because if it's Liam Hatcher, then there's a good chance that even Webster bowls a bit. I think I was going to say that after the toss, the fitness concerns for the players will be very important. So, your combination of visualization will be changed. Because the role is how it is. So, when a lot of people ask us, ke, how do you decide for the 6th and the 7th bowler? Or the 5th hmm. or the 6th bowler? So, you have to try and see that the 4 bowlers will they always bowl. Uh, example for that is to say Matt Kuhneman for heat. Hmm. He was brought into the attack so late. But you knew that because the venue is like this, that's why he doesn't get preference for spin. Plus the left handers. Hmm. Exactly. So, if you put this logic, then you will be able to rotate. Hmm. You will be able to crack it in your team 1 or team 2. But at least you will be able to rotate them better in your valley combinations. So, if you say that if you don't have Vesagar, but again, if you think that if Vesagar will take the last round, then you can go ahead and uh, take him. That is complete to your point. So, we are going with guys who should likely be bowling enough overs, hopefully at the right time. Yes, absolutely. That is a breakdown of how we actually think and visualize about many points of the game. And captain and vice captain is Matt Short and Marcus Toynis. So, we have not felt like there's any point in taking that risk on Matthew Short, especially because of the way he's been bo- he's coming in bowling two, three overs randomly. Even if there are right-handers present, he is bowling uh, and Toynis bowled three in the last game, will bat in the middle order. So, it does not make him any less important either. So, try to try to go with guys who are going to get the best opportunity and also are pretty good players. One thing is, like at this level, in the game type, mini gels are you can play SLB if your visualization or thinking is very strong. The reason for mini gels is that you can see in the whole BBL, mein, almost every game you have had to back the common captain only. Be it Hayden Kerr, be it Jai Richardson, be it uh, anybody else like a Daniel Sam, Joby, Jitnevi, even Matt Short, Kafi the Hop Peshalaga, nature, but a children. Bats and each other, Bullin says. So that is the uh, risk that you have to try and at times avoid a graph smallly killed. If you are a smallly kill, okay, short peris loge, by some Muliran, but do we kill legate? Can you say? So that is something that will not be able to control. So maybe hmm. that is one of the patterns emerging from the Beagle, which is why we prefer ke, at times if you play mini gels. If you don't risk, you should be able to get something back because your setup is a little bit better. Hai. To, uh, always back what you think will happen. And yes, you have many bowlers as well. You can make captain as captain, bana ho, especially while bowling first. So you have more of that maybe in the grand section. Let's see. Yes, absolutely. So that is the roundup of our base team. Again, we have gone with one keeper and two batsmen, a privilege that you get here. So yeah. ensure that you download the fan to play app. Link is in the description. And now let's get to our Grand League options for this one. So Nikhil, why are your two Grand League options for this one? Uh, thankfully, in every game, there is one player in the game. So, uh, very keen to see if uh, if Adam Hose works out for strikers. Hmm. Uh, I think he's been getting enough chances uh, batting at the right place as well. So, I think Adam could have a good game. Now, just bowling has some of the threatening if they see out uh, Bolt and Wood up top in time. So, the contest directly is with Zampa. And I'm hoping 
ke uh, he can come off from there and get himself a good score uh, which i think might be a grand pick for you but theek hai that's that's fine not a not a problem in that sense to so, ek ho gaye uh, adam hos and uh, from uh, stars ek banda hai jisne kaafi achhi batting kari pichle game mein polling se wicket nahi liye par teen teen chakke mare to trend bolt the all rounder is my grand pick for this game because he's going to come up against match shot and henry hunt uh if hmm. he's opening so i think this should be the game and at the match up thodi, yeah <laughs> thodi movement dikhti hai uh, but again hmm. this is very pertaining to agar pehle bowling karte hai to second bowling karte hai to agar aapko lagta hai ki nahi movement nahi hogi zyada to maybe you can take somebody else as well in that regard so yes going by that logic adam mosaf and bolt sir i'm backing bolt too i think he should come good yeah. in this one and uh, my two picks for this game adam zampa if he's bowling second he is also due a 3 4 wickets yet and again yeah. this you if you want some teams that you want to get that against is either one of the strikers or the heat so yes good chance that that can happen here and uh, the other pick is peter siddle if he's bowling first so clearly strikers bowling first stars bowling second is the order of my picks if the toss is inter- mm-hmm. interchanged then my picks are null and void So yes, those are the two picks for this one, and you and, to tell us in the comments yeah. who yours are. Absolutely, and I think up till we have not seen Rashid Khan special, which is very rare to happen. That in BBL, you don't give a Rashid special. Na dekho. So I don't think he's going to play too many games from here on. Yeah, last other, few games. Yeah, last few games. So definitely a very good option to try out short Rashid in that combination. Maybe let's see. Yeah, if strikers bowl second, that's my pick. <laughs> टमोरो <laughs> So enjoy both the previews smash previews yep. also already uploaded and we hope that you have a good one and we'll see you all next year. Yeah see you